and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrump, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, oh, I'm Bob. I'm pumped up today, Brad. Yes, I'm feeling strong like bull myself. All right. Today, we're going to talk about uh, the get, how to get your spine back in place in less than 60 seconds. Oh, 60 seconds. So this is kind of a chiropractic term, I would say, wouldn't you, that your spine goes out. I don't know that we say that so much. Would right. you agree with that? Yeah, I, it's just I don't It's different terminology. We don't disagree with it. We're just saying that, uh, you know, we're going to show you some ways you can do it without manipulation. Kind right. Of get your spine realigned. Really a good maintenance program to keep your spine healthy. Yeah. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take oh. a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. And just starting today, if you haven't noticed already, we're giving away on Facebook, Bob and Brad. We actually can go down in the description below here on, on YouTube. Sure. And we're giving away some foam rollers. Hey. So, these are some nice tools. Very simple, you can use them at home. Yeah, these are real nice ones. It's gonna be green, it's gonna be the standard density, but we're giving away three of them. So we're gonna okay. need your name and email, and you'll be in the contest. And we'll ship them right to your house. Yep, that's right. That's a good deal. All right, so let's get started, Brad. We're gonna start talking about the spine here. So the spine, if you wanna put it in the position where it's locked in place, and, less, and, and, and it's not gonna be vulnerable to injury. Sure. You wanna have, can you, face that way Brad oh sure your better side so yeah if, if you got if you look at it on a human being here he's got a, a slight curve in a slight curve out a slight curve in the spine was designed to be the strongest when it's in that position so I'm going to show you on the spine now yeah slight curve in slight curve out and slight curve in when it's in this position that's how the bones were designed it's locked in place the, the facet joints are in place yeah. and everything is designed. It actually good. has a little give. That's why it's curved and acts a little bit like a, a shock absorber as well. So it's a wonderful design and, uh, you know, we got to keep care of it. Got to give credit to God for that one. I suppose, you huh? bet. Now, if you lean forward like this and, and, yep, and slouch like this, now it's not locked in place. Now things can go out of place. So yeah. now, now you can have facets you know, turn and you can get stress on the disc. I mean, it's just a, a bad position for the back. Right, it's not near stable. So in this position, we don't want to put a lot of, you don't want to be lifting, you don't want to be twisting with a lot of force because that's when things go. Bob, you got a nice little, yeah, uh, little plain Legos, here. huh? So, um, you know, there's seven cervical vertebrae, there's 12 thoracic and there's five lumbar. So again, you know, when you're straight up and down and uh, vertical, that's nice and solid. Look oh, at that. I can't yes, break it. Yes. But as soon as it bends forward a little bit like this. <laughs> well, if your back goes like yeah, that, it goes, you're it goes out. in big so, trouble. All right. I just wanted to give a little visual for that. So what, what are you going to do? All right. Let's go. We're going to go right. We're going to stop at the, start at the top of the spine and go right to the bottom. You first want to get your neck back in place. Right. And Bob, before we go any farther, I do want to oh. mention that we really uh, we, we've developed these this theory and concepts, concepts uh, from Robin McKenzie. He's started a back system back in the 60s, and he's it's a worldwide system. Here's two of his books for the patient, for the layperson, one for your neck, one for, one your, for back. your back. Yeah, and we got them in our links uh, on our favorite books. Right, in and they're only like 10 bucks a piece. But yeah. the things we're talking about here are in these books, and they're very uh, well researched. He's the one that came up with these concepts. So. Why don't you grab a chair, Brad? Oh, yes. And we can show ahead. Go ahead and show. You want to show the chin tucks? Sure. You can do a chin tuck standing, but we find that it's most effective in the seated position. And if you have a backrest about like this, you're going to get yourself in good posture. Oftentimes, we end up yep. with our chin forward, so we want to reverse that and get that neutral position Bob was talking about by doing a little chin tuck. Now, you don't have to push in with your finger like that, but you can. Give a little overpressure. So if your neck is out, as they would say, you can actually get it back in place by doing some of these chin tucks, especially with overpressure. Right. Now, you're not going to do this if it creates a lot of sharp pain. You know, then you need to, uh, you know, look at something else. But if you gently work at it and it feels better after repetitions, like four or five repetitions, and by the time you get to 10, I'd probably stop at 10 and give it a break. And if it feels better after that, you know things are, are doing the right thing. Right motion. All right, Brad, why don't I take over for the back? You, you uh, want the chair? Yeah, I'll take the oh, chair if okay. you don't mind. I want the chair. So, we, you know, 
And I, I promise that people could do this in 60 seconds. You do 10 of these. You're then going to go to the mid back because a lot of times that gets out of whack when you get into this position. Too. Right. Or if you're slouching in your chair like this, really not uncommon to be like this. Sure. Uh, a lot of people tend to sit that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the back, mid back, back in place. You can you, you can just do it over the back of the chair. You can go like this and lean over the chair and get it back in place that way. Pressure on, pressure off. Same things apply. You don't want to have increased pain. Right. It should often feel better. Um, you can also take a ball, which we're big advocates of. Yeah, especially if the chair doesn't hit you. If it's too high of a chair or too low, or too low of a chair may not work at all. But if it's a high chair, then the ball really works well. So then we're going to go ahead and, and do some extensions this way. Here, Again, the, the, the different levels. Oh, yeah, there, there we you go. go. So you can see it all right. So, boy, my back just cracked right there. There Brad. you go. Yep, it just got put back in place because I was slouching too much. Yep. All right, the final one is you're going to go ahead and uh, do the low back. Uh, now, you can do this, especially if you're trying to do it fast and to do it within 60 seconds, you can actually do it standing. And you can just put your hands right where the pelvis is here, and you're going to bend back. And uh, we have a lot of people do this um, after they do a heavy lift. Sure. You know, like if you lift something heavy, the first thing I do is I reverse and go back like this right. because it can help take away the effects of that lift. Right. I mean, and, it, uh, and sometimes damage. I'll have people do it before they lift yep. and after. Just two or three repetitions. You don't have to you know, spend 20 minutes doing it. You don't want to. And you can go ahead and if you want to, you know, actually for the mid back and low back, you can actually take this. You can work the mid back here. Yep. Do an extensions there. Or you can get the low back. Why don't you turn the other way, Bob, so they can really? really. Yep. So we're getting that support. Now, you're going to adjust that where it feels good because there will be some times where like, oh, there it feels okay. Then you move it up an inch or two. And all of a sudden, it feels better, and you get more motion without pain. Then you know you're on the right spot. So I'm just going to show you in 60 seconds, Brad. We can go chin tucks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mid back. One, One. two, three. You can go different ways. Four. Five. Oh, yep. Put it all six, in there. We're seven. Stretches those shoulders out, too. Oh, yeah. There's more eight, benefits than just the back. Nine, ten. And then we're going to go ahead and do standing ones. There you go. You want this, Bob? Sure. Sure. One, two. Yep. And he's walking three, that towel up as he goes. Four. Hitting different levels. Yep. Five. They can even go up a little higher like this. Yeah. Six, seven, mm. eight. Nine. You're at 58 ten. seconds, Bob. Good. I got her. Yeah. All right. Wow. I didn't want to be lying on film here. Yeah. Well, I don't know how many times you did you? You didn't really time me. No, did you? I didn't. I was just <laughs> kind of guessing, but there, I'm sure there's going to be some comments. It probably went 63 seconds. All right. Well, we we did our best. Ah, that's right. So thanks everybody for watching. Take care.